what you learn from being at VCU is learning how to learn and learning how to take complex information and boil it down to its essence. I'm a person who really likes uh, reaction mechanisms um, and synthesis, things like that for organic chemistry. So there are three professors who, really, who had really interesting research on those topics. My project is specifically making sensors. So we're using DNA as a building block to create this sensor. And that sensor is hopefully going to be able to sense for different disease-related biomarkers. So the hope is to get this into like a clinical diagnostic phase. We do a lot of work with metal organic frameworks. Um, we tried to modify it and we've tried to do a lot of things to it. And a lot of the mo modifications that's done on metal organic frameworks or MOFs as they're called by the scientific community, um, the modification isn't necessarily easy. So people do sulfonation or nitration of various metal organic frameworks. And as we started, there were a lot of things that we didn't know. Um, we have to use certain modulators in order to make it succeed. And these are small points that are never really addressed by papers, but it's something that we find just by um, experience and talking to people. One of the things that you often find in a large university is that you're disconnected with the faculty, and that is not the case here. Um, my experience has been, in fact, the, the opposite. I was able to, very early on in my studies, form a relationship with the faculty in the physics department, um, really uh, have them be involved in my future and in my learning, and that ultimately is what made me stay here um, for, for all three of my degrees a very wide array of things that are being studied. So picking someone that studies that area is very interesting. And depending on who your advisor is and how they choose to manage their lab, you either get a lot of independent work and decision making where you're doing a lot, a lot, a lot of it and it's more your project and thing, or you work in a more collaborative group where everyone sort of interconnects better. And you know, there's a lot of opportunity to select a group that's gonna work well for your particular work style. I have a lot of companies that are reaching out to me to try to get me into their companies because of problem solving. Our lab has had a lot of opportunities to learn how to do certain things. Throughout my career, there's always been my ability to handle technical problems with ease because of what I've learned uh, here and the experiences that I've had here at, at VCU. My graduate degree really was a stepping stone to a pretty fantastic career in uh, plastics and specialty chemicals industries afterwards. I really like working with undergrads a lot, uh, especially working in a lab when they go from not knowing anything to by the end they can really run a project by themselves and kind of be independent researchers. So I really enjoy that aspect. So my future goals hopefully will be to be a professor at a small undergrad university. Richmond has wonderful weather, it's very affordable, and the culture and diversity here is a great experience. Coming from Mary Washington, where I was definitely a minority, uh, it's nice to see that I am, I can just walk outside and I'm no longer a minority anymore. I feel like that says that VCU is one of the top universities. Like I feel like every university should set that standard. So the professors are awesome. Um, they're very helpful. They'll, you can go to their office, they'll help you out any time. The student population is very diverse, which was really cool. So we had students from Sri Lanka and students from India and everyone just got together. We would hang out on weekends, it was great. VCU also provides a networking experience. These people that you help, the people that help you, you never know if you're gonna need to rely on them, you know, 10 years from now, 15 years from now. So it's, everybody works as like a giant team. What it does is it allows you to feel the freedom to express yourself. When you have the freedom to express yourself, you also have the freedom to innovate. You have the freedom to think differently. You have the freedom to explore intellectual directions that you might not have otherwise been able to do. From my perspective, because I know VCU, I enjoy my experience here. I enjoy the environment here. I enjoy meeting the people that I have met here. And I enjoy learning from the faculty. So if they take any credibility on what I'm saying, uh, they should come and join me at BCU. <laughs>